Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a small tutorial on modeling a 3D food cart in 3ds Max. So we'll be modeling and texturing a food cart. Simultaneously we'll be continuing with the bathroom tutorial also. So let's go into rendering, view image file and let's take a reference over here for that. So I'll open up a reference for the food cart. So we'll be modeling and texturing such kind of a food cart, how you can model it. So very first of all, let's take a plane over here. So take a plane. Let's go to the top view over here. I'll just take a box over here. Slightly. I'll shuffle this up. I'll push this a bit up over here and I'll convert this to editable poly. Now let's go into this, ring it and let's give one connect over here. I'll slightly place that. Again select the box and let's give a bit of extrude over here by local normal so I'll just reduce the extrusion so now select this edges and you can give chamfer but no we'll not give the chamfer over here we can do that afterwards you can give some chamfering stuff over here if required okay now it's going to be chamfered up properly so let's chamfer a bit click ok select this whole loop control select this whole loop and let's again give a bit of chamfer over here after that I'll go into this side view over here. I'll take a box over here. So let's activate this auto grid over here. And I'll just take a box over here. So slightly. select this take a box so slightly shuffle this till here scale a bit So we can increase its size over here. So I'll just go into this and I'll just increase the size. Now convert to editable poly. Select the polygons. give a bit of insert and slightly extrude this a bit down not much click ok let's go into the side view over here again take a line over here of this auto grid Take a line over here and rendering <coughs> enable in viewport. So go into the vertices. So right click and I'll just refine it.
much better the same way I'll just refine this okay this looks much better now I'll just duplicate this just duplicate that after that what I can do over here is like I'll just go over here slightly I'll shuffle this go into this modeling let's go into the swift loop over here I'll add one swift loop over here I'll add one loop over here one over here and one over here so select this polygons and let's give a bit of inset <coughs> just give a bit of inset over here so select the vertices and we can slightly just push that push this up select this and shuffle this a bit up over here so now I'll go over here select this polygons and slightly I'll extrude it a bit inside very less and let's click OK I'll again go into the side view over here and I'll just take a line tool over here slightly push it a bit out scale this if required go into the vertices okay so definitely this is going to be a kind of a glass so we'll definitely put this elements afterwards and do that later on now I can just select this three elements I'll rotate it into 90 degree and first let me save this I'll just save this over here shift and drag it and I'll shuffle this till here go into the vertices just push it in this way and let's place it again over here so definitely there are a lot of elements we need to make over here so we'll go away oops we need to connect this perfectly because we haven't connected it so whenever you're doing this stuff make sure you properly connect this so this is go right click cut and let's just join that
okay now looks perfect so now again I'll select this edges I can even go over here I can just select this <coughs> vertices and I can make it more straighter I can select this edges I can make it more straighter if needed so let's go over here select this edges connect it let's connect this so make it more straighter so I'll leave some space over here for this also So what we'll be doing over here is like I'll add one swift loop I'll add one swift loop over here and I'll add one swift loop over here slightly Okay, so I'll just select this and I'll just give a color to it. So guys, if you have any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching this tutorial.